All right, YouTube. This is a little bit more of a different angle, as you can tell. You're a little higher up now, on top of a, a box that was packed but never shipped because of non-payment. So it's now my camera stand. <laughs> this is the other fast complete cycler, first generation, from Reefs and Ranches. Uh, you can see in the foreground, right there. There's the motor and there's the blades. That's the other one. That's the one that was dead. Bag capacitor. We already tested that one. Works flawlessly now. This is the one that worked already. This has a new capacitor in it. Same thing as a 6 microfarad, 450 volt instead of 370 volt. Um, but it's perfectly fine. It's just saying it can handle up the 450 volt. Um, and yeah, same thing. Oh, interesting tidbit. I know a lot of collectors own these or have wanted to get these. If you get a heat cycler and you are missing the mounting hardware well hopefully you have the grommet let me talk about this for a second so the grommet is this piece you've seen it probably before let me just get the video on. Uh, this is what goes between the double clop there so that is the fasco claw and this is the hunter one so the hunter one's obviously thicker but the spacing between the groove is about the same so as long as you have the grommet, you can go ahead and buy yourself one of these Hunter U-bolts and that will fit with a little bit of wiggling in the U-bolt, good as new. So if anyone has one and they're trying to figure out how to mount it with the original mounting hardware, get yourself one of these U-bolts. Either way, that side tangent out of the way. Uh, this is the same thing as the other one, it's a 1981 early fast quit cycler, generation one. We know it's generation one because of the bottom uh, bottom faceplate. This is a Charleston faceplate. The generation two have a different style. Um, this is also an early one because it's missing the heat fins, the, the fins on the brackets. I'll show you what that looks like. And that's what the brackets supposed to look like. The camera so I can see. You can see a little fin right there. And that would sweep against the, almost very close to the face of the motor right here and pull air out. Um, like I said, these first generation ones were known for overheating because it is a 1.5 amp motor. Um, either way, let me go ahead and turn this thing on low with the, the Dayton 3 amp variable speed control. Interesting enough, this one is also good as new. It's, a little, it's, it's run a little bit more, uh, but the bearings make no noise. Uh, it's flawlessly again. This one also has a slight wobble, um, just because plastic blades are going to do what plastic blades do. But yeah. Very good fans. I'm very happy to save these two. Probably one of my favorite non-all-metal, non-all-metal uh, industrials, uh, because this has the plastic blades. Uh, my favorite is still the Emerson Stratojet. Um, still always looking for more of those. They are not very common here in Florida. So. Either way, on low speed, we're drawing 0.45. So, pretty good low speed. Let's go ahead and take it up to medium. Right there. A little bit of harmonics, not a whole bunch. There's a good medium speed that's drawing 1.03 amps. It's already putting out a good breeze, as these do. Let's go ahead and send it straight to high. A little tilt. And on high, as always, these things fly and move a great amount of air. And like I said, these are silent. There's no issues at all in these two fans besides the bad capacitor that that one had. Um, really, I really wish I had a place to install these because it would be cool to install. Well, it would be cool to install some of the stuff I have. Uh, fortunately, property and rentals and land out here in Florida there's not much not a good deal on stuff let alone finding a property that has power that you can use um, so uh, I might 
actually end up talking to my bosses. We own a warehouse for our electrical supplies. I might talk to them about installing some fans there and seeing if I can do stuff there. They may or may not go with it. I, I don't know. It's up to them. Um, but that'd be a cool place to install a bunch of fans. Uh, but yeah, it was rambling. Um, let's go ahead and get a closer view of this fan. Plug the charger. So like this is the one that was working inside the store. sound at all from that. Alright, so let's go ahead and plug you back in. And then we'll do spin down. But hi, this is drawing 1.42. So within spec, like I said, these are 1.5 1 amp motors. Really, really beefy motors. So when I saved these or replaced these from the Reefs and Ranches store, uh, first of all, it's interesting, they weren't on a speech control. These were just on a switch that was on off. Um, and the reason I went to replace them, I never got, know if I went into full detail in the story. Uh, I saw these fans three, three years ago, pre-COVID, uh, when I was doing Jeep Beach scavenger hunts because we had some photos we had to get take with our Jeep in downtown Deland. Um, and you know, I never actually been there, so I walked around with my girlfriend. We kind of enjoyed a little bit of our day down there. And I saw this store with these two fast weight cyclers. Uh, they didn't run. Um, it sounds like they haven't run a long time because when I met, I, I, I'm, I'm sidetracking. Either way, I got in contact with the owner back then and I just never fold, followed up or I never heard back, so I just thought they were gone. Come around to earlier this year, I was in the area because my girlfriend likes a store in Deland, and I was like, you know what, let me go check if the store has these fans still installed. Um, and luckily enough, uh, they were still installed. It looks like they still once again hadn't been ran since the three years I saw them. Um, and I talked to the store owner, and she was actually a really, ni really nice lady. Um, I actually might be going back there sometime in the next month or so. Um, and she was really nice. The AC was down currently. And she was like, I wish these fans worked. I would I'd love to have some kind of air movement. I might have someone replace them soon. And I just happened to be like, well, I'm interested in buying the fans or saving them for you. What if I replaced them with something better than what they are? And better being I gave her two white five-blade Hunter Originals American made. 1997 and 2000, respectively, I believe. Um, and they're great fans. They've matched the store a lot better than these did. Either way, uh, when looking into why these didn't work, I found that there's someone had wired a three-way switch in, and they had hit the hot and the load to just the travelers, but not the actual main power screw. And of course, when I pulled the thing out, it wasn't even tight, so a wire came out and arced against the side of the box. And yeah, that was all kinds of fun. So I did get these working for. They were actually they were running a little bit, as you saw in the video. Um, they were running a little bit while I was getting parts and pieces because little did I know this was a antique ceiling above there. And these had a four foot down rod going through the drop ceiling to the old school ceiling up there. We're gonna do a zero to high so you can get some harmonics. Um, either way, uh, thanks for watching. Sorry I just went into a tangent. If you haven't watched the video of me saving these and changing it out, I do recommend it. It was a fun little adventure. And the originals that replaced them are really good fans. And she loves them, and I might be going back installing two more. So, thanks again for watching, guys. I will catch you on the next one.